Hey guys, welcome back to the Wesleys. Today it is just me and I'm going to be showing you guys how to sublimate a dog tech. If it is helpful for you and you do enjoy it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up. Also subscribe down below so you guys don't miss any of our videos. If you hit that little bell, it will notify you when we post our next video. This is actually my first time sublimating a dog tag, so hopefully everything works out great. First, I'm going to show you guys how to edit and create the design yourself, then how I print it and press it and just the whole process. I'm gonna go ahead and get my press preheating. And while it is preheating, I will be showing you guys how I designed the dog tag on my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and preheat this to 380 and we're gonna be pressing the dog tags at 380 for 35 seconds. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I use Pixar to edit almost everything that I create. It is because Pixar is free. I'm gonna go into Pixar. On the bottom of the screen, you see the plus sign. And then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. We're gonna click the white square. At the bottom of the app, you can see that there's different things that you can select. And we're just gonna go for some donut sprinkles. So I am gonna click sticker. And then I'm going to type in the search, pink rectangle. I'm gonna scroll down and just try to find a really vibrant pink color. We'll try this one for now. And once I've selected that, I'm just gonna stretch it out to the size that I want it to be. If you are wanting it to be a more vibrant pink, you can actually go to the very bottom where it says adjust. And you can click hue or saturation. So saturation, let's try that out. I can bring it all the way up to 100. We're gonna go ahead and click apply. And then I'm gonna go to the bottom again where it says sticker. I'm going to type up in the search sprinkles. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick this sprinkle. I'm just gonna fill the rectangle up as much as I can. And then at the bottom, you can see the bar where it says opacity. You can slide it down to where it's not so bright, or you can bring the vibrancy up, or the opacity up. I think that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. Go ahead and add our dog's name now. Go to text, and our dog's name is Paris. And then I'm gonna go to sticker on the bottom again. I'm gonna search dog prints. Now that I have the dog print, I'm gonna go up here to the layered squares and I'm gonna duplicate. And I think that looks really cute. And I'm gonna go ahead and crop this now so that we don't have all this extra. And there it is guys, that's what I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna to go ahead and send this to the computer and go ahead and print it out. And these are the dog tags that we picked up. I will be linking them in the description if you guys want to pick up some for yourself. You can actually just get the regular shape or you can get this bone shape, which I thought was really cute. And I'm hoping that the shape that I picked on Pixar will actually fit on this bone shape tag because I didn't even think of that. So hopefully it does work on this tag. We normally use these 13 by 19 for canvases and also for t-shirts. But since we are just doing a dog tag, I'm gonna be using this smaller A sub paper. These will also be linked in the description. If you guys are looking for A sub paper, you have your 13 by 19 and then also eight and a half by 11. All right guys, and here is the JPEG. I'm not in any fancy software, no fancy profiles or anything like that. I'm literally just in the image preview. I sent it over to my computer. I opened up the image. Now I'm going to go over to file, go to print, it's our image right here. I'm going to go ahead and take off auto rotate, Epson ET15000, default settings, one copy, all pages, US letter size, we are doing eight and a half by 11. Orientation is a vertical. We're going to go to preview media quality. We're going to click best. Go back, go to layout, and we're going to flip horizontally because you don't want any of your letters coming out backwards or your words coming out backwards. Flip horizontally, go back to the layout button or this button. Paper handling, we're gonna do scale to fit paper size. Cover page, watermark, supply levels we don't even mess with. We're gonna go back to the preview. Here at the bottom, you see copies per page, and we're going to up that as much as we can. Let's try 16. 
And I think that looks really good. We're gonna go ahead and keep it at copies per page, 16. And hopefully that is a perfect size. So click print. As you guys can see, I only printed nine of them so that it will fit better. I also went back into PixArt and made Paris and the dog prints a little bit smaller just because this little, this is a dog bone tag and I didn't realize how tiny it was. So I did go back in and edit it a little bit smaller so that we have room to place that dog tag on there perfectly. With the 16 on one page, it was just not big enough. You can see that it's not fitting right. So I did go back into the Pixar app and make Paris a lot smaller and the dog prints smaller inside of the pink box so that we have plenty of room to work with. I did make the graphic a little bit smaller inside of the pink box so that the dog tag will fit perfectly over it. And I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So that's gonna work perfectly. We're gonna go ahead and cut these out and press one of them. And I'm just going to take this, put it right over there. And now I'm just gonna tape it Just taped it with one piece of tape right across the back. Now I'm gonna take you over to the press and we're gonna go and press this on. I have my butcher paper here just on the bottom. And now I'm going to lay my tag down with the sub paper facing up and then just put another piece of paper over that. And then press at 380 for 35 seconds. And this tag is super hot right now. I would definitely recommend using gloves. Um, I haven't ordered mine yet. I will be linking some down in the description if you guys want to pick up some for yourself. Yeah, they are super hot, so be careful when you take it from the press to your table. And that's how it looks. I really love how it turned out. It's super cute. I hope you guys can see the actual color of it. It's just super cute. And that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Hopefully you guys can make dog tags for yourself and or for your dogs. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up if you did. And if you're new, I hope that you will subscribe so you guys can see more of our videos. Hit the notification bell so you can get a notification when we post our next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye.